welcome to Ogre Old Guys Outdoor Review. I'm Tall Paul, and these are my geese friends. Do you know why geese fly in a V-shape? You know why there's one end always longer than the other? Because there's more geese on that end. Today we're going to review the Helicon Text Bob Newhart. Yes, I know who Bob Newhart is. That just proves I'm an old guy. Now this is the bug out bag, uh, Helicon Text. I saw the, uh, the video for this and I completely geeked out because there are some extremely, extremely cool features of this backpack. It's got a 4.7 review on, um, on Amazon. And when I saw this, I dropped $170 on buying this thing because I'm a backpack guy and I totally geeked out. It does have some design flaws, so I would actually give it a three star. Part of that three star is because I'm using it for something that it's not really designed for. I'm trying to go camping and hiking and all kinds of different stuff. And it's, it's designed for what it's designed for, not what I tried to use it for. But before I get into details with that, I wanna talk about the single most important item to have in your survival gear. If you are an outdoors person, you must have this. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. A Spider-Man lollipop holder. If you need that extra sugar boost, you got it right here. And only Spider-Man will do. Because Spider-Man is the man. I have been a Spider-Man fan for as long as I could remember. And when they came out with the first Tobey Maguire movies, I completely geeked out and even read the book. Highly recommend the book. There's a really good scene in there that's not in the movie. Right there. Right there, man. That's what you need. Oh, 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 okay. So, one of the downfalls, one of the cool features is, is this front pocket detaches. Pretty cool. You, so you could use this as a haversack. Um, it's small. It carries a small amount of stuff. Uh, I have a, a um, gathering sack in here and some fire starter stuff, notebook. I have some small things in here, little saw, pencils. Uh, it has three pockets back here to hold. They're designed for magazines for your AR-15, so they, they designed it for shooting. The video, go to Amazon, check out the video for this. It is hilarious. Highly recommend it just for the amusement part. It doesn't show off the backpack at all. It, this comes out of Poland. It was designed in Poland and shipped out of Italy or something like that. And um, it actually got here very quick for being shipped overseas, which I was really impressed with. And, but I guess I think Americans are all gun-toting cowboys and just shoot them up everything. And the video is hilarious. Shows a little bit of the backpack and less of what it does, but, but it's pretty cool. The drawback with this being here is I can't access anything inside if this is on because the straps that attach it go way back here and block the zipper from coming down. So that is one thing that I didn't like about it. So to detach it, you have these hooks. And this one's a little tight, so it's not coming off as easily as it should. And there you go. This comes off, which I think is a cool idea. Unfortunately, it is a poor design because it blocks a zipper and I can't access anything. But I keep stuff back here. I keep my sunscreen, my bug spray, a little flashlight, uh, my Leatherman. And inside I, I keep some, some other stuff, some hard candies and um, you know granola bars and notebooks and just just good stuff to have you can extend these out and strap it around like that to have a haversack kind of 
deal going on, which is the way I usually carry it. Because it's small, I got a different haversack and cut the strap and set it up to where these will attach together. This usually holds my uh, poncho and my shelter system. And this is a bad design because it has a pocket here, which is cool, but the pocket doesn't close. So I had to sew Velcro in because every time you open it, everything in here falls out. Who designed that? I don't know. But that has nothing to do with this. That's just something I added. Another cool thing this comes with is a little seat. So if you're walking, you have a rock to sit on or a log or something, you can put this down. It gives you a little extra padding, a little insulation. Um, if the, the log is wet, you're not going to get your butt wet. So this is, this is kind of cool to have. One good thing about this backpack is no matter how it's laying, there's a handle up here. There's a handle on the side. There's a handle on this side and there's a handle on the bottom. So no matter how it's laying, you can pick it up and get going, which I really, really like about it. It's got padded shoulders, um, shoulder straps. It doesn't have a waist strap to go around here, but it does have the chest strap. I've used this thing quite a bit for uh, hiking and, and camping. It is not designed for camping though. There's no place to put a coat for winter gear or, or anything like that. So it's a little smaller than the use that I wanted to use it for. It's only a 25 liter backpack. It comes in green, black, uh, coyote brown, gray, gray, black. Uh, so it has several different colors. It has this pocket up here, which I, like an idiot, put my sunglasses in. But this is a stretch fabric pocket, so you really don't want to put things like sunglasses that are fragile in here. There's not a lot of room, but that you can put stuff in here. It has this pocket right here, which you can't get to if that pockets the, the, the bag here is on. This is a very thin pocket and it's pretty deep. So I, just had, I kept maps and stuff in here, but they'd always slide to the bottom and they're kind of a pain to get to. Right now, I keep my, uh, my camp stove in here and it's nice and thin. We'll be reviewing this in another video. And what I did so it wouldn't slide down is I put a loop of 550 cord to feed through here so that it didn't slide all the way down to the bottom and I'm fishing it out. Makes it really nice. Other than that, I don't know what you'd use this pocket for. You could only use it for thin stuff. And you really don't want hard stuff in here, which I'll show you in a minute. It's got pockets here that are good for um, water bottles and, and other things. I keep a couple of shemogs in here, which are very important to have. A shemog saved my life actually once. Got overheated after I almost got lost in the desert and I used soaked it and used it as a blanket the entire night. Uh, this one, I keep a little headlamp. Uh, I keep some gloves. So it's got plenty of room for stuff. I have this thing, which is actually cool to have. Uh, a couple tent stakes, hang the backpack on the tree. So it's got room for stuff on the outside. One thing I don't like about it is they, they say this is a low profile backpack and it's not gonna snag on things, but you can't put stuff on the outside, which comes in handy when you have, uh, you know, tent poles or, or something. There's no extra way to strap things to it. So you can't have a sleeping roll down here, uh, which makes it not a good backpacking backpack, maybe a day hike backpack, but not a good backpacking or camping backpack. So the advantage is you're not gonna be snagging trees. The disadvantage is you can't really have added attachments to it. Now let's get into the really, really cool part. Now the backpack itself weighs about 4.6 pounds. With all the stuff, it's pretty heavy. At least all the stuff that I put in it. So this full front unzips and folds forward. And you got mole webbing on the inside, which I think that's what I geeked out about. That is like, in my opinion, one of the coolest things, very organized in the back. Um, 
And then these open here, so you have access to all your stuff pretty easily. Now this is designed to be used as kind of a knee pad. So when you're kneeling down, somebody online asked if you could use it as a sleeping bag pad. I wouldn't recommend it. It's real thin. You're gonna have this sticking in your back. It's not long enough. So I wouldn't use it as a sleeping bag, but I'm also tall. So, I mean, if you're really tiny, you might be able to, but it's, it's mainly for, for kneeling. It's got a mesh zipper over here to house whatever you want. And then it's got the, the mole webbing in here so you can put your gear. It's got some pockets down here. So I have some sleeping gear here. I have some signal gear here. Uh, I don't even remember what's in here. It feels like, I don't know, fire starting stuff. Yeah, fire starting stuff in this one. And then I got uh, some more signal and some tabs to put in water. But you can put whatever you want in here. You can attach whatever you want to here. We'll demonstrate this later, but this actually is designed to fit on your car. So you could use it as a car seat. And I almost got snagged, ow. And you can put your fishing gear in here and poke yourself. <laughs> so that is very cool. I guess the biggest drawback are those thin pockets on the outside, the fact that you can't really attach a whole lot to the outside, and the fact that the extra bag here blocks you from accessing any of this gear. Now it says it has a hydration pocket. I disagree. It does have this pocket right here, which I do have my hydration bladder in, but I don't consider it a hydration pocket because it doesn't have any exit point for the tube to come out except through the zipper. Therefore, I don't consider it a hydration pocket. It's kind of misleading, but it is a nice deep pocket. You can stick stuff in there and it does have a zipper on the bottom so that you could have access to all this pocket space that this encompasses, which is very cool. So I actually keep some uh, thermal underwear in there in case it gets cold because in the desert at night, even in the middle of summer, it can get cold. But because of the misleading hydration pocket thing, in my opinion, uh, and the fact that this blocks you from getting access to your gear without having to take it off, and these little thin pockets that are right here that you can't really do a whole lot with, I, I give this a three star. Now you don't want to put anything fragile on either of this because A, this one stretches and, and it could break. This one, there's not a lot of room for anything. And if you do use this as a knee pad, which I think is a really cool feature, you don't want to break or bend what's in these pockets. So you're really limited into what you could use there. That is the Helicon Text bug out bag system. Uh, again, I give it about, uh, I'd say maybe three and a half stars. It, it's a really cool backpack. When we get to the car, I'll show you the car seat portion of it. It, it is a really cool backpack. I just personally have some issues with, this is the biggest one, obviously. Remember to like, subscribe, uh, click the notifications so that you know when we get the uh, videos out and enjoy our videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Paul and this is Ogre, Old Guys Outdoor Review. So here we are back at the car and I'm gonna show you how this turns into a seat organizer. First thing you wanna do is make sure that front pocket's off, which is one of the things that I find annoying because you have to take it on and off to do anything with it. But again, it's a really cool feature because it does come off. So then you open this up. This will fold back and clip out of the way with this. I'll have to extend it because of what's in here, but it would normally clip out of the way. You're gonna undo this. Now I'm being lazy, I don't wanna clip it out of the way, but uh, you're gonna undo that. 
and then this will wrap around a seat like that. I have to extend it just a little bit. Got to be smarter than the strap, which I clearly am not. So this will come up here. Wrap around and clip in here like that. And then these undo and you could wrap them around the seat to make it nice and snug, which I'm not going to do right now. But you get the idea. Uh, once it's wrapped around and nice and snug and then this is folded back out of the way how you could get a great seat organizer and uh, and then you could quickly detach it and turn it into the backpack to get out of Dodge hey man, how the hell you do